But uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, pecker suckers, I've got to ask you about somebody else from the tip show. Uh, uh, Karen Freehan. Now, I think she is fucking hilarious, but she is yeah, she's brutal great. with people. <laughs> Um, riddled with people, you said? So brutal with people. Oh, brutal! Yeah. <laughs> Your accent strikes again. <laughs> but but uh, so what, what's it like being on the receiving end? Because I don't know if you followed her, have you seen her Twitter battle last night with some porn star? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I, you know, um, so I went to the stand, you know, the local comedy club where like everybody kind of hangs out and performs and everything. And uh, I, you know, even Louis J. Gomez is in some sort of spat with, like, a porn star. And I think it all happened because of uh, Chrissy Mayer's, you know, The Wet Spot, um, her show. Oh, yeah. And it's just a matter of, I think, the one of, one of the porn stars, and I don't know her name, really, because I wasn't following it too closely. But I think, really, the gist of it is that she felt offended. Um, somebody just offended her, you know? And it's kind of like... I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what happened. It could be a mix of somebody maybe over overstepping and her just not really having the sense of humor to kind of accept the fact that she's on a show based in comedy, you know? So Yeah, no, it was that the uh, Rich Voss said to her on the stage. He says, I guess anybody could be a fucking porn star oh, these days. But you know what? Like <laughs> first off, we all know that Rich Voss is also brutal, you know, a bit with people. Um I would have laughed at that as a as a as an onlooker as an audience member, but like but like to be her, you know, that is kind of like damn, like that that hurts a little bit, you know. And, and then uh, she admitted to actually being an escort as well, which and then Ke that's what caught Karen's attention. And Karen was just like, I mean, so that's a step up, no. Well, uh, of course, I would never sully myself with any of those filthy, filthy things. <laughs> Unless you want to... I have to be an escort or a porn star. I'm an escort. I'm high price. You know, take me to dinner. Fuck the shit out of me later. But you're going to spend like $5,000 on me. You know what I mean? That's actually not like a I'd bad idea. You know? I feel like I'd make more money as an escort than a freaking porn star. And I heard that those girls don't even make that much money in the first place. Sadly. Yeah. Well, well uh, who would have ever thought that taking five dicks up the up the asshole on camera would be maybe be not the greatest uh, business move in life? Well, for some it is. <laughs> but uh, mm. what's it like for you though, being on the receiving end of uh, Karen uh, on the chip show? Cause she could be tough. Yeah, she could be tough. You know, she calls me an ostrich. That's like pretty. That's cute. You know, with the whole like. With my nose situation. Listen, I was born with this nose, for the record, okay? And, you know, some people, okay, I'll say this. Some people really love it. And whenever I hear, whenever I get those comments from, from guys, you know, and they're like, I wish I could meet somebody with your nose. It really makes me think, like, that's an odd yet very sweet um, sentiment, <laughs> you know? Um, but, I mean... I don't know, when she calls me a freaking ostrich, I'm just like, listen, bitch, back off. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, but she does it with love, you know? I never really felt that she was being super malicious with me, um, you know? But it gives people a laugh, so that's what it's about, you know? And, and for the record, if she insults your looks, don't worry, I'd fuck ya! Nice! 